Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In the previous video, I just created all question part of this project. If you are not seen that video, just go to description and check out the link. In this video, I'm going to create a new J frame for this delete question part of this project. So let us start. Let me close this application. And first we need to create a new J frame for that. And here just renaming it as delete, delete question. Okay, clicking on finish. And first we are going to increase the size of this to 1066 comma 535. Okay. After that, we are going to the properties and uh, here just clicking on this always on the top. And uh, here we just need to click on it here, undecode it. And after that, we are have to set the location. So location is for the X axis, that location is 150 and for the Y axis 183. Okay, and just click on OK. Let me close this. After that, here we just need to insert a label for the PNG image. We are going to use it here. Update question. Oh, sorry, delete question. We have to writing for the delete question. So delete question. And uh, let me read this text and remove this. After that, we have to insert a text here. Uh, let me rename it as delete question okay and going to the properties I'm also increasing the size is to making it as bold and changing to this this one and making it as 40 okay delete question you can see and after that we also need a button so for that we're just placing it and going to the properties I'm selecting a close PNG image for that and here just let me read this text uh, let me place it here you can see after that here we need a separator so I just uh, move to the swing menu and here you can see the separator and place it here and after that we are increasing the size to 1066 okay let me increase the size of this is to the max okay you can see I'll, this one is of full size okay after that we have to insert level here for the question ID okay one by one question question ID okay after that the next level we are going to take it here for let me insert the label one by one after that we are going to change it for the uh, this one is for the question after that uh, option one option two option option three option four and after that we have answer okay we have answer for that we are also taking an option sorry answer we are taking after that let me change it and the first thing is question okay and uh, after that we have to take option option one let me read this text and option two option three option 4 and after at last answer okay and for this we also need text field so one by one we are going to place it text field here text field 1 text field 2 text field 3 text field 4 text field 5 text field 6 and the last text field 7 okay and after that we also need a button to search okay I just paste it here after that we are first uh, selecting all these labels and increasing the size is to making it as bold 
20 okay going to the properties here I'm just selecting for the that bold I'm selecting for the 20 okay let me close this after that we also increase the size of this fields one by one we are selecting it and going to the properties I'm just selecting it as bold 20 okay so let me click on okay let me close this and let me increase the size is little bit uh, and we also increasing the size of this button let me make it as bold 20 okay okay let me close this let me minimize this also uh, let me make it a little bit down after that we are increasing the sizes to the 700 okay one by one we are increasing the size of this all the text fields okay 700 700 okay uh, let me change this to this button is for the search okay uh, let me change it to the search after that we have to insert here and PNG image search PNG image let me close this let me read this text one by one read this text one two three four five six and the last one is our seven okay and let me make this form little bit down let me select this all let me make it little bit down okay after that we have to insert two buttons here so I'm just selecting this button here and the button and one more button here let me select this and we are also making it as bold 20 okay 20 okay just close this after that we are selecting one button and here I'm just uh, delete okay and the next one is for the clear and one by one we are also going to insert icon for this this one is for the delete png image I'm going to use here and for this we are using clear png image okay we close this after that we are placing it here let me make it little bit right also and our form has been created now one more thing we just need to insert an image in the background so for that we are changing to the absolute layout after that we are inserting a label here and going to the properties I'm going to set an icon for this the icon name is page background admin okay let me place it perfectly on this form and let me click double click on this again let me remove this label from here and let me save it you can see our front end part has been completed now we have to write the code for the back end so now the first thing is we are going to do is first we are going to connect this page with our home page so for that we are just moving to design here and let me right click on this event and mouse click event make sure you are writing in the mouse click event and here I just need to copy this code as it is code it's here in this section and I just need to change it here let me remove this after that we have to write delete delete question dot set visible and here just write true okay after that we are moving again here to delete question and we just going to write the code in the event action action performed of the close this application okay so here first we are going to write here admin home dot open equals to zero I already explained you about this open variable and all if you are not seen my previous video just go to description and check out the link okay and after that we have to write the code for the search so let me move to the event action action performed before the writing in this part search we need to import package so let me import here import java.sql.asterisk here 
and after that import project package dot connection provide class and after that we need to search we need to search so for that we are moving to here and here I'm just writing string string id equals to j text field we are taking it from the text field one dot get text okay and in this we are searching after that we are using try catch block catch exception okay and in the try block first we are going to create the connection connection con equals to connection provider class connection provider dot get con after that let me make little bit down here statement st equals to con dot create statement after creating a statement we are using result set rs equals to st dot execute query and in this we are going to write select star from okay I forgot to make little space here okay question where id is equals to double quotes plus plus id okay and after that if rs dot first is exists in that case we are just going to set the value j text field to dot set text here rs dot get a string and then just we just need to write here two okay and let me copy this two three four five and six yeah now one by one we are going to change it three four five six and the seven after that we are also changing it to three four five six and the last one is seven and seven is for the answer okay after that we also need to disable our j text field one so i'm just writing j text field dot set editable i'm just writing here false okay and if that uh, id does not exist in that case we also need to write the code here so first we are using j frame making it as top of the form frame okay gf equals to new j frame okay after that gf dot uh, set always on the top and in this we are just writing true and after that g option pan we are going to use to display the message successfully so message I look here gf and here we are going to write the message uh, like a uh, question does not exist question id does not exist okay and there is a maybe chance that any error occur while loading so i'm just copying this same code and pasting in the catch block here and here just removing this question id does not exist i'm writing here e okay and you can see our search part has been completed now we have to write the codes for the delete part let me move to the event action action performed and in this we just need to write here let me move a little bit up okay and in this we have to take the again id number string id equals to j text field and we are taking from one get text and after that we have to create again create connection and all catch catch exception e okay and here we have to write connection connection con equals to connection provider dot get con after that we are going to prepare this statement 
prepared ps equals to con dot create state uh, sorry con dot prepared statement okay and in this we just need to write the query the query is delete from question where id is equals to question mark i'm just uh, writing and after that ps dot set string okay and in this just need to write one and here just you can see already write in, written id and ps dot execute cute update okay and after that we also need to display pop-up message so i'm just going to copy this that successfully updated so i'm just pasting it here and this i'm removing e and just let me writing the message successfully fully up uh, deleted okay now uh, let me delete it after that we also need to set the visible set visible and here i'm just writing false and the new visible delete delete question dot set uh, visible this one is true okay and if any error occur in that case we are also going to display the okay so in that case we are just copying this okay now our delete question part has been completed let me run this oh one more thing one more thing we did not write the codes for the killer button okay let me move again to back to the delete part let me double click on this and here we just need to write a little bit code uh here you can see j text field one dot set text and here just uh, setting the text nothing okay double quotes just right here two three four five six seven okay and one more j text field one we need to set editable true okay editable true because we set it as false after that two three four five six seven okay now it's completed let me run it again okay let me click on sir delete question and first we are going to enter incorrect id okay one two three which are which are not exist in our okay question id does not exist you can see the pop-up message okay and if you just want to clear this from here you can just need to click button click on this okay after i just want to search for the id2 which exists in our database so you can see all the details of this question id2 you can see here let me after that you can see this one is get disabled we cannot erase this okay let me click on delete successfully deleted let me click on okay you can see let me again write the id number two let me search for it you can see question id does not exist okay let me click on delete question you can see there's a one form is already open let me click on others one form is already open so this is all about the lead question part so in the next video i'm not going to create for the all a student result because we the student does not give examination so first you need to give exam so first uh, in the next video i'm going to create a new j frame for a student module so stay tuned with us please hit like and subscribe my channel thank you